Want to add a youthful glow to your skin? How about a radioactive substance like radium? It sounds crazy now, but when the Curies discovered radium in 1898, this extract from uranium ore and its mysterious rays captivated the imagination of a public not yet familiar with the negative effects of radioactivity. The press often exaggerated early findings of radium and hype built around the miracle ingredient. Yes, even in the 1920s, clickbait headlines were a thing. Radium quickly migrated from labs into household products like watch faces, soda water, chocolates, suppositories, and even male supports. Always quick to pick up on the latest trend, cosmetic companies like Radier, Though Radia, and Art sprang into existence and offered skin creams, shampoos, and face powders with a touch of radium's re-energizing glow. There were even radioactive masks and chin supports. Wear one for half an hour a day to become more young and beautiful. Radium claimed to rid your skin of wrinkles, energize tissue, and use its marvelous powers for the betterment of skin. The companies were mum on exactly how this worked. The funny thing, radium doesn't really glow. Pure radium is silvery white and not very exciting. Companies would mix radium with phosphorus, a substance that emits visible light when excited by radiation. Here's how it worked. Radium emits alpha particles that kick some of the phosphorus electrons into a higher energy state. The electrons fall back down and emit a photon that produces light. So it's actually the phosphors, not the radium that glows. Most radium-based cosmetic products use phosphors of radium bromide and thorium chloride combined with trace metals like copper, silver, and copper manganese to produce the desired radiant colors. Radium's short supply made the element very expensive. It took three tons of uranium ore to collect one gram of radium. The going rate in 1921 was $100,000. That's $1.3 million in today's money, or a small condo in San Francisco. With radium being so costly, cosmetic products only contained trace amounts of radioactivity at best, and most were completely harmless. Unfortunately, not all who encountered radium fared well. By the end of the 1930s, a series of events caused the public's excitement for radium to die out. Radioactivity occurs when the nucleus of an atom is unstable. Unstable atoms have a high probability of ejecting a particle from the nucleus, like another element, alpha, beta, or gamma rays. If these energetic particles can make it into the body, they can break bonds between atoms, damage DNA, and disrupt a body's normal operation. Elevated doses of radium over long periods of time can have serious consequences, which is why physicians and industrial workers who work with radium and like substances started to become ill. One case involved radium girls who painted watch faces and ingested dangerous doses of radium while bringing a brush tip to a fine point with their lips. Their tragic and unfortunate deaths unfolded in front of the public eye. Today, scientists and politicians recognize the potential harm of radium. So while you won't find radium in personal care and beauty products, its radioactive powers are still harnessed, but now for good, as a localized treatment for cancer. Hey, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like what you see, then subscribe to this channel. Or if you have any thoughts you want to share, then put them in the comment section below. See you guys soon.